Hi guys, lovely afternoon today. We're off to Groombridge. Yes. We'll look around the village. Don't know much about it. Al sort of does. And um, see some of the history there, some of the architecture. We're now in Kent. So South of Groombridge. Yeah. <laughs> really? I think so, yeah. Oh, very nice. I'm going to park up here. Well, I'm going to say nice. The nice bit, we'll have a look around and see what's here. who are in Groombridge and guess what it's another video where someone's mowing the lawn in the background <laughs> I can't believe it we just saw an old post box in someone's garden we realized actually it's the old post office because the lady came out and sort of confirmed that didn't yeah you? What lovely old houses look at these beautiful the same look at these old steps really worn down I was pointing out Lovely. You need a few bob to live here. You know, as we walk through, we don't quite know how old the village is with some of these old properties. I'm not saying they're probably going back hundreds of years. They're probably maybe 1700s workmen's cottages, 1800s, with a lot of traffic coming through. I mean, it's a very quiet village, but there's a little cut through road. So, um, yeah, you can see. Nice doors. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Wow. Soft pussycat. Lovely old. Are you still following us, are you? Still following us? Yeah, it's so nice. It's It'll be a pub, yeah. Table, yeah, yeah the pubs. This was an old pub. Maybe across the road. Maybe the table's here. Maybe the whole sign. Sorry, I made a mistake. The pub is still open, obviously closed during the quarantine. So, uh, it'll be... <laughs> I'm sorry now. Yeah, the pub is still, is still operational. Okay, hey, what were these for? Shutters on the wall? Yeah. On either side of the window? Yeah, got two here. Yeah, it must be shut, so old shutters. So it's a very busy road along here, though we're in a little village, it's very, 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 very uh, loud. So we're at St John the Evangelist Church, has Commonwealth War Graves. It's more like a chapel though, isn't it, than, a, than the yeah, natural yeah. church. Is there anything in the porch that says when it was built? Um, Ah, here we are. History of the church in Old Broome goes back to 1239. It's very much, obviously this is a replacement building, this is yeah. about the original building. So it goes back a long way. With the new bell turret. It does have, it does have a bit of a Victorian feel to it, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it rebuilt in 1820. Mm. Not rebuilt, but it was added to in 1825. What was added to? So well, that the brickwork there with the bell. Yes. Well, that's, that well, does look Victorian to that's me. That's 18 something. Yeah. But most of the rest of it, or the rest of it, is 12 something. Wow. It can't, that's not very 12. It must have been. No, that was an earlier, I think it was an earlier building. Right, okay. Once again, no disrespect to Victorian architects, um, but it did come along to these old churches and put their stamp on it, you know, with restoration work. Sometimes for the better, a lot of times, maybe for the worse. That's just a personal opinion. Loving memory of Lieutenant Colonel Albert Henry Royds, OBE, Scott Guards. Take down to this old wrought iron gate. It's locked. No, it's not. Lovely, the old gate. Little trackway, don't know where that goes to. 
Grimbridge, we like you. It's come across a tomb for the Saint family, not Simon Temper, but the Saint family. So it must be either a prominent family in the area. Yeah, it's a big plot for this Saint family. Big plot. Very unusual, I've never seen anything like this before. Right. So close, it's actually built into the church. Unless it's a crypt underneath. Yeah, it could be a crypt underneath, yeah. yeah fascinating. Yeah. This is the Dower House, 1660. This was built 1660. And have a look at the mill, this old mill. Wow, look at that. So you got that house that side. Someone's because you've got a river there mm -hmm. with a with a bridge that's silted up. Yeah. Very interesting. The new town is in East Sussex, the old town is in Kent. So they're really divided by the county boundaries. Fascinating. There you have it guys, a little tour around Groombridge in Kent. Delightful little village, very, very small and compact. Absolutely charming. Mm. Uh, it's really nice to get out to some of these places and have a look around. I mean, I'm sure the people who live here don't take it for granted that they live in such a beautiful area. I say, apart from the busy road going through, which is constant, but that's the modern world. It's yeah. very hard to get away from that these days and people mowing their lawns. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like, please subscribe. Any comments you know about the area, please let us know. It'd be great to know. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Yeah.